have you with us. Gosh, we're there. We're almost at the weekend. Uh, hang on tight. It's coming soon. All right. So let's talk about diabetes. I mean, it's a, it's a massive, massive problem that so many people struggle with. And what's so great about uh, the information that we suddenly have is that we're able to uh, now just download an app onto our phone. And basically what it can do is just give you advice about diabetes. Um, and uh, you can also find out a little bit more about what to look out for and uh, the this is something that has been described as a world first flash glucose system. Uh, it's now in South Africa. Um, it's simple, it's a collaboration free manner of blood sugar management. The new technology includes real time glucose values, trends information, and comprehensive reports of your blood sugar levels. I don't know how this works. So, in studio with us, we've got uh, Hamish van Veek. He's a registered dietitian and diabetes educator from the Center for Diabetes and Endocrinology. Good to have you, Hamish. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so I'm not going to talk about this as being this revolutionary bloodless uh, test that you can take because, I mean, at this point, surely you need to have a sample of blood to detect diabetes in, a, in, in blood sugar levels. Yes, yeah, so I think what there's two things we need to look at is, um, firstly, the app that we're launching as CDE. So that is the CDE Club app that we have, have wow. launched. And that's something which we spent the greater part of a year and a half working on. Yeah. And that's really been designed to do a few things. Is Firstly, to discover and, and discover it's to really empower people with diabetes so that they can know a bit more about their condition and also about themselves. You know, what is their blood pressure? Most people, when you see, when you're in the education setting, you ask them, you know, what is your HbA1c? And the first question you get asked is, what the heck is an HbA1c? Yeah. To yeah. actually sit and explain that to them. And I think that is very important. I think, just imagine the user sitting out there today. If you were told you had diabetes today, all of a sudden you need to become a nurse, an expert in injecting yourself with insulin. You need to become overly pedantic about your feet and basically a dietitian in their own right. So I think yeah. the, re the listeners out there can appreciate there's a huge burden on the individual. And we believe that a part of it is to support them, empower the person sitting with the app. Yeah. But f so, so, so let's talk about how, how it actually works. So sure. the, the main function of this app actually is to is to guide you through your diagnosis. So once you have been mm. diagnosed, um, it then, of course, then you put all your vitals, your statistics in, and then, and then it, it, it keeps you going with diet requirements and all of that. Is that, is that correct? That's perfectly correct. Okay. So, yeah, so the Discover section of the app is they do the health risk assessments, they get real-time feedback. Look, your HP1C is a bit high, read this article. But furthermore, the app also suggests under the ACT section of actions that you can do. And members on our Diabetes Management Program can actually, for the first time, view their online health record on the app as well. They can share their success with others and also we've got rewards and coupons free to anyone who downloads the app okay. as well. Lovely. What is the app actually called? So, thank you for asking. So, <laughs> the app is the CDE Club app. Yeah. So, if you search um, CDE Club with quotation marks on the Google Play Store or the Apple iStore, Store, you'd be able to get the app free of charge, no cost to anybody. Good. That was what I was going to ask you. Are there costs associated with it? Or is, it, are there app, is, it is it one of those apps that you can, if you need more, you buy within the app? Or is it just free no, information free, to you? free, free, free. Who actually, I mean, who worked on this app? I mean, obviously so, you were part of it? Yeah, so we partnered with a company in Sydney who have had um, amazing results in patient engagement apps for the greater part of about 10 years now. So there was a lot of 4am meetings trying to wrap these guys around a table but yeah. and then obviously myself, a team of nurses and endocrinologists built this app for the public. Yeah, I mean that's, the, it's a fantastic thing so in terms of, of working on it, do, do, should you as a diabetes sufferer, should you be putting it in your, your stats in there on a daily basis? How does it work? Once you've downloaded it, what do I have to do to keep it updated and to keep giving me relevant information? So I think the first thing is we will update the app with regular recipes, information, articles um, pertaining to diabetes. But again, we will be asking people again and again questions related to the diabetes, trying to get people to reflect a little bit about their health. You know, am I on target with my blood pressure? And I can tell you the typical answer is I don't even know what that target is. I don't know what I'm aiming for, for yeah. my cholesterol target. So again and again, we'll be asking the people important questions and then giving them answers to those questions. How long has this app actually been around for? So we're excited. We launched it last week, Thursday. So it's fresh. It's just on the market still. And yeah, yeah the results we've had from people saying, you know, finally, it's something, my, it's my support. And I think what we need to realize is this app is never going to replace an educator, a dietitian or a doctor. Yeah. But you know how it is. 
you've got a 15 minute consultation typically outside of our program for people with diabetes it's rushed quickly I forgot to ask the doctor what my HbA1c was I forgot mm. to ask him what is this injecting thing where do I need to inject my insulin so this app is that support when you're sitting on the couch Watching Morning Live, yeah, and we've got good. some questions. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, it is, it's, it's vitally important because, I mean, we've always done it. And I, in fact, while we're talking, I saw this hysterical um, meme, I think it was last night, while I was just, you know, flicking through things and catching up. There was this woman sitting behind a computer screen, pulling out her hair, uh, basically on her death's bed, because she was sort of Googling her symptoms and <laughs> trying to find information yeah. uh, on the internet yeah. and realizing that, oh my goodness, according to what people are saying, I'm about to die. Meantime, she probably just had a common cold yeah but but that's that's the reality is that there is so much information out there but is it true exactly and I think that's so concerning I mean we've got you know a lot of our members have type 1 diabetes which is not curable unfortunately at this stage and they pop onto the internet and they you know drink this water with three drops of lemon yeah, juice and your absolutely. type 1 diabetes is cured they stop the insulin and next thing we've got these kids sitting in hospital yeah. or in our case, in the CDE space, phoning our hotline and immediately having to treat them to prevent them from going into hospital. So yes, you know, bad information is not just bad, it's dangerous in a lot of settings. And we believe this app is a safe net for people to get safe, reliable information. Excellent. Well, there you go. This is for those of you that have been diagnosed with uh, diabetes. There's an app out there now. Is it operational? Uh, I mean, is it different? Are there lots of apps out there or is it quite unique and I think it's unique in the sense that especially for members on our diabetes management program they can view their online health record and again it's it's information specific to your results, not just blanket information that you sit there strolling through doing what, what do I actually read in all of this? Excellent. All yeah. right, that's fantastic to hear. Uh, thanks for joining us here no, on the thank program. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Hamish van Veek is a registered dietitian and diabetes educator from the Center for Diabetes and Endocrinology. The app is out. It's available at Glo uh, for Google uh, Play Store as well as on, on, uh, on the iTunes. Uh, you can get it on the iTunes app. What is it, what is it called um, again? The CDE Club. So you just the search CDE it in, in quotation marks it comes up Excellent. pretty easily. The CDE club and uh, it's uh, free of charge which is which is really good news. Thanks again Hamish, thanks for chatting to no, us. Thank you so much. Let's take a break here on the program and we really get into the weekend mood. We have got Mark Alex in studio with us and we're going to be chatting to them about uh, this year's uh, throwback. Well I suppose it's a, it's a rocking concert but it's to those heydays. You remember them so well. Those awesome hits. We're going to take you down memory lane. In fact that's what the concert's called. Memory lane concert. It's happened at the Grand Arena in the Grand West in Cape Town uh, on the 29th of July. Stay tuned. Details after this.